All of the screens that you see in TVs and mobile phones are just solar cells that are working in reverse, emitting light instead of absorbing it. The big question that I want to answer is, can we make solar cells that are 50% more efficient? Can we accelerate the development of sustainable technologies for a sustainable future? We are really in a race to get to zero carbon emissions as soon as we can. And while the solar cells we have today is good, it could be significantly better. And this is where new materials come in. We really need to find the new materials that can enable this. So far, we've just been doing sort of trial and error and stumbling upon these materials by accident. But can we actually design materials that are exactly made for photovoltaics? And that's what I'm trying to do. During my PhD, I discovered new materials for photovoltaics using very laborious experimental processes. And I'm now pivoting to take a look at the same materials from the perspective of computation and machine learning. If you think of all the materials in this world as a vast ocean, there are all kinds of rocks and sand in there, but there are also a couple of pearls. And these are the pearls that we want to find. So materials for photovoltaics, decarbonization, lighting. But we can't search the seabed inch by inch. I use machine learning to quickly figure out where the pearls are likely to be. And then we zoom into those areas and we search there using techniques from physics and chemistry and using them to find all of these new materials that are otherwise pretty much impossible to find. The exciting bit here is that machine learning is really the glue that brings together experiments which are really laborious and theory which is really time consuming. And machine learning in the middle actually speeds up the entire process by 100 times. I'm fascinated by automation and this is really what drew me to electronics uh, as a boy where I started building all kinds of little gadgets that do things on their own. And, and this thread continues into my research today where I'm, I'm essentially trying to build labs uh, that are automated, that do things on their own and discover materials for us without humans having to do too much. Through this, I hope to discover new photovoltaics that can power even cloudy Toronto, cement that does not emit as much carbon dioxide, and all kinds of other sustainable technologies.